Hello there, and welcome back to the pinkish uh, Mexico, where we currently war with, uh, well, a given amount of people. You have French, Castile, Portugal, Portuguese, Brazil, other people, and due to the fact that, well, the fact of the matter is that the French and everyone actually started landing troops, so we might actually have to consider if we should uh, just end the war or not. We probably will still cause or continue to cause trouble, and hopefully still keep on slashing colonies and such, but it's getting a little bit more difficult, so we'll have to consider what we'll do on, on that front, but as I said here, we'll probably try and keep on fighting as uh, as much as we can here. These guys hopefully can stay alive, if not, we might get in a little bit of trouble, but we'll rely on mercenaries and try and still do some, uh, some wars here for colonies and basically just try and make sure that we get the coastline to uh, to ourselves here. So that's our plan of action. How it'll actually work out is kind of uh, still questionable. I do want the uh, the islands here, but they do have a huge amount of overextension. It's two newly made colonies, and getting 45% overextension from colonies to colonies is horrible. But yeah, I'm very tempted to actually just try and continue this war just until they finish the coast here. But uh, right now we'll have, we'll have to do, consider what we'll do. We'll see how it goes. For now we'll just continue the war and hopefully we can uh, get what we want here. We'll see how it goes. So this is a pretty good event here for a military expert. Our country is at war but our leadership is not ready. Today a former military expert arrived in a court. His reputation precedes him and has a recent graph of our language but his price is steep. What should we do with him? We can. Like this, we do not need foreign aid, get some legitimacy, we can put him in command, we can ask him to train our officers, get a general with 100 tradition, which I'm very tempted to do, it should be a pretty damn good general, so all in all is probably the best thing to do here, we can sacrifice the gold, so it's not too much to ask here, let's see what we actually got here, not too good of a general, but he does have the maneuver value, so... He's not horrible either. We'll probably just put him in charge instead of the general that we currently have here, Ramiro Com Campuyanus. So, uh, allow him to siege this and then we'll fire him. We'll also go ahead and uh, start dealing with the Castilian and French army that's currently up here. So that is, uh, that is fine. Other than that, not really that much is planned right now. There's another Castilian fleet here. Kill that one off and we'll also take, just split off the transport ships while we can. Go ahead and kill off that with the uh, speed guy here. We should be able to catch them. If not, then, uh, well, that's too bad. But yeah, there we go. Another Castilian fleet uh, completely wiped out. And we should be basically here in charge. This is more Castilian, uh, Castilian colony here. We've taken this and this colony. I'm also very tempted to start allowing or keeping this war going simply for the purpose that the French, the French have also started colonizing. We're the Prada down here. Potentially a Portuguese Brazil. What would be very interesting here is a supporter in a union. Wait a second here. So I can't actually negotiate. There we go. Yeah, so I was trying to apparently negotiate people with Portuguese Brazil, which is kind of bad. But apparently, as you can see, I can't actually force them to release their, uh, their colonial holdings. But I'm pretty sure that if I just kick Portugal into, uh, well, hurt them, then I might actually be able to get something out of this. But yeah, I'm also very tempted to just try and see if I can get Portugal out of this. And the simple reason is, of course, that the Portuguese will probably keep on colonizing in South here. But I'm very tempted to just keep the French in it for the fact that they are colonizing here. I'll just send a colonist, flip it, and then we'll get most of, of uh, South America as well. Because still won't be doing too much, I think. The Portuguese will take most of the colonization of Africa, I'm pretty sure. So we have nothing to worry about there. The Ottomans have apparently gone eastward, killed off the Mamluks. We'll be killing off the Mamluks, it seems, which is kind of interesting as well. But not really that fun. Russians, it seems like Nogai has actually been able to cut them off here, so might not be a snake like Russia. No, probably a snake like Russia. So we'll see how that turns out. Lithuania, still alive. The map itself is kind of interesting here. But yeah, I think what we'll do here is just keep on focusing for now, getting the colonists, taking as much of the coastline as possible, and colonize inland as we see fit ourselves. I'm a little bit unsure what I actually want to do with Incas, if 
I want to uh, colonial conquest them or whatever. I can ex annex them, but it will be a horrible price to pay. So for now, I'll just keep on fighting these, uh, well, I, I don't know what to call them. Skirmishes will deal with uh, whatever fleets they send towards us, and all in all, we'll just try and keep, to some extent, control over every single uh, colony and take them as they grow. We'll see how it goes. So, the question right now is, do I want to take another military idea, or do I want to actually... Wait, land maintenance modifier won't really be that much, it'll be four. Two kids a month. So, quite possibly right now, I just want to wait for the next level military. I'm pretty sure here. The other offensive ideas here aren't really that good, if well, unless I'm actually attacked. So, I think we'll just wait with the remainder of the defensive ideas here and go for military attack. On the scale of things otherwise, we'll probably not be doing too much. We'll still be annoying the hell out of everyone. Which is basically what I've been doing so far. The fact that the French have but ended up bothering us as well here is kind of good. I'm worried. Oh, I'm wondering if I should actually send an army down here and try and snatch these Portuguese colonies. But right now, I haven't actually found any good reason to do that. The Incas will basically be the blockade here. I can probably go off these guys and uh, hopefully get the Portuguese to either release them or something. Simply destroying Portugal will work too. But probably here, yeah, I'll also end up taking the French colonies. So keeping France in the war is definitely of, uh, of my in one of my interests. But other than that, we won't be doing too much. We'll be trying to solidify our trading relations here. As you can see, Caribbean is currently uh, the node where we have what well, earning the most. Because of the fact that I removed the guy who was currently here. Basically meaning that everything is going to be sent forward to the Caribbean node. And also, I do... Re already get something here so that's not really a problem the problem is that actually koreans are wielding power in this node which is kind of weird i haven't actually seen a single korean ship so i have no idea how they're actually wielding power in the uh in the mexican node here but other than that as you can see they are sending forward up here so i'll place another merchant here to try and take some of the income or i have no idea if it's actually gone there yet well, doesn't matter. I've placed a merchant this node to take advantage of that, and we'll definitely be, uh, definitely be, well, blocking off anything going from here. West Europe node doesn't actually do anything for us, so we're basically trying to make as little, as little money as possible go there. But as of now, the war is going uh, pretty damn nice. The uh, enemy here has, well, nothing to really stand up with, and as such, we are definitely in charge. Probably still be a ton of smaller battles, as you might imagine. Colony burnt. So the Portuguese actually completely destroyed a colony, which is a little bit weird, but fine, I guess. Which means that that Portuguese army will now suffer the consequences. Just that. But yeah, we'll uh, see how this goes. I'm pretty sure that I can't just continue the war as uh, at my own volition. And I'll also snatch these. They are still growing. Cool. Do they? I have no idea. They are <laughs> sieged by Castilian peasants, which is fun. But I have this colony. I have the French colony. There's a lot of targets, basically. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We can uh, take a new mission here. As you can see, we can either create a proper fleet. We can colonize Massachusetts, which is probably the best. Or we can rule the sea. So yeah, we'll colonize Massachusetts here. And I think what I can actually do is simply use the fact that Castilians are sending a colonist and uh, and take that colony, which is of course what we'll do then. The uh, I think I'll also just go ahead here and uh, burn down the current colonies that the others have, which or the two other colonies here since they have been sieged. It will cost me a little bit, but not much. So uh, basically, I'll just get uh, the bosses out of this. We failed the mission apparently due to that, which sucks. Claim our rival's province, solidify papal relations, or create a proper fleet. How far are we away from a proper fleet here? 100 ships. So that will... won't do that. Solidify our papal relations. Sure, I can sacrifice a diplomat who aren't actually doing anything to, um, well, make peace with the Pope. Great Britain here, I'm really worried, or really considering actually trying to ally with one of these. Potentially Burgundy or Great Britain. I do like, would have liked it if France loved me, but I doubt that will ever, ever happen. So, plan, most likely just destroy these two colonies, first of all, so that the uh, Castilians will do me a favor and, uh, and fix that, burn colony. 
As you can see, people don't really get pissed about that. Colonies themselves are small, and also this gets rid of the rebels, so the Castilians could then start while well, doing things for me again, which is more or less the entire plan behind it. I guess we'll also go ahead and recall this guy, and we'll start. We'll colonize this thing ourselves then, just to uh, just to well, you start colonists for all they're worth. I also have to keep an eye on Bermuda. So yes, we have a lot of uh, things to do, but for now we'll still just continue the colonizing war game, which uh, have lasted for a while. We'll see how it actually ends up by the end. I can actually peace out uh, Portugal right now, and I'm really tempted to just do so. It'll allow Portugal to focus on other things. They might actually end up declaring war on Castile, breaking the alliance, if I can just keep on uh, being the annoying, well, person that I currently am. So I guess we'll sacrifice them prestige here, get the Portuguese out of the war. Hopefully they'll break their alliance with Castile and go after them. I'm, I have my doubts about that, but I can always hope. So, let's just get that done. Send uh, off of peace. Portugal is out. We got. We did get trade dispute against them though, so it's not completely horrible. Who do I want to set as my rival? So Castile in Portugal and no one else. As you can see, Castile is actually in trouble. Aragon is at war with them. In what war? In war. Attacker. In yeah. So these two actually ended up in battle due to this. Potentially, uh, if I can just piece out France, which I think I can by the same... Yeah, I can do that exact same way I did with... Uh, with... Uh, yeah. Castile would be alone then, and I'm pretty sure I can actually go ahead and invade their island. Which actually seems to be a better choice right now. Huh. I think we have our play here, gentlemen. We'll piece out with France, which means that I won't have to fight those guys. We'll send our mercenaries to Europe, or Castile in this case. I can probably get, yeah, I can get military access from Aragorn, I can hide my armies there. Aragorn will then help me in the fight, and everything is nice. Apparently also three of their, four of the counties actually are under siege by Aragorn, so I would probably think that I don't have too many men. Let's see, a super piece will uh, offer tribute, concede. With that, we now have just Castile, who has 6,000 men. So, we have our play. Let's see here. Let's fix a 15,000 man army to send over there. Yes, I only have 15,000 transport, so we'll just do this. Eight. Bring that cannon, the only cannon we have. Bring in another horse, and let's do this. Yeah, this is our invading army. We'll send you guys to help out, and we'll get our general back. With this, oh, how many ships do they have? They don't really have any ships on. They, ha I, they have two ships. I don't really need an escort even. I just need to send my transports over there, which means that, Alvaro Gomez, you will have a new job here. And that is uh, transport. So, can I get... I was wondering there for a second if I become Holy Roman Emperor, but then I realized, well, it was probably Austria. So, we'll send our ships down here, just for a pit stop. And then we'll send them over. I guess I will send this fleet with them, so I can uh, block it to some effect. And I think I'll also go ahead here and ask I go for military access. Can I do the same with... No, I can't do the same with Portugal. Can I do, the, can I do it with France? French? Actually, they're friendly towards me, but they still deep, deep distrust me, which I do not actually blame them for. So, we'll get our troops over to Castile and see how uh, everything goes. So... That was not what was planned, but even so, as you can see, we do have our armies now in uh, in Castile. The Argonese are basically sieging everything, and I think I can kill this army off now as soon as we land. We're landing in Gibraltar so that we don't actually get that landing negativity, and we'll send this army back home, have it fix its ships, and then we'll actually send another 15,000 men mercenary army down there. We can most likely afford it, or we should be able to afford it. In worst case scenario, I'll just take the regimental system. The big question right now is do I want to actually complete this uh, line here and I don't really think I do. What we'll save for here is probably more admin tech. Red Britain has uh, plumped down a colony here which is of course hilariously annoying. I think I can declare warn them. But Burgundy, Portugal. Britain and Burgundy not really that scary. The fact of the matter is it's actually more scary that they do have uh, 
or ship themselves. So what we will do is, of course, just fabricate a claim, and if we feel the need or if they call nice a lot, we'll just go ahead and kill them off. Other things I've done is ally Aragon, as you can see, due to the fact they are blue. Also, we'll most likely ally France and drag them into the war against the uh, the uh, the British. I can build a pretty huge navy to handle theirs, then we'll just have the French march in. So, last thing we'll do is probably see how this battle unfolds, and once that is done, pretty sure that we'll just go ahead here and, uh, well, my London guy was, was seen, but that's fine. Be awesome. It's 99%. Well, that sucks. So, what I think we'll do here is take a risk. Yeah, we'll take a risk. We'll send these guys to help, then we'll try and kick them, kick them in the butt. If not, then I'm in kind of in trouble here. And we'll send, we'll send these guys to help. And if not, we'll simply have to tag them prematurely. But even so, as you might imagine, we do have everything under control, more or less. We just need to send another, well, army over there. And then I'm pretty sure the Castilians have lost. As long as the Aragonese is still in war, at war with them, we can make something work. What I will do is probably take one Granadan province, one Galician province, we'll release both of them as vassals, and then we'll try and, well, use them to some advantage, to some degree, as eaters of these of this nation. So, that's our plan. How well will it work out, I have no idea. We'll figure that out uh, next time. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed it, and I do hope to see you next time. Bye!